Hey up everyone. So I've come to Doncaster and I thought I'd start here because there seems to be so many videos with people vlogging about Doncaster and they always tend to start on that street. But I want to try and be a bit more positive. We'll get that out of the way. And I think this, I mean, I've not been to Donny for years and I'm sure there's lots of nice parts. So we'll just have a wonder. We'll go to town and we'll see some of the sights and we'll go to some of the nicer areas. Well, I've come just down the road to Tickle and it's a lovely little village or street. seems to be a lot of uh, bakers and there's like a bit of a pork pie war going on they're all displaying delicious pork pies in the windows and I'm so tempted because I love a pork pie but I'm fancying a fish and chip review later so I'm, I'm being strong I'm holding it I'm starving myself I've just quickly come back to the van because it's starting to rain and that's my biggest worry the forecast for today is horrible so it, it's stressful this vlogging you're thinking i need to get a vlog out but then what are you going to do if it's just chucking it down all day i'll just have to walk around with your brolly anyway that's tickle that was lovely and i'm going to head to bawtry now living it up i put my coat on because i think it's going to rain again I'm in Bawtry and the first thing that struck me about Bawtry is trying to get parks a nightmare, I've had to park miles away, well not miles but a long way away and they just want to charge you, it's paying display everywhere you go so what I've noticed coming here it's very much a place of wine bars, cafes and restaurants there's obviously some money around here I mean you can tell that just where people dress so I stand out like a cell phone. <laughs> anyway, we're just gonna have a quick look round. You're on, you're on YouTube, yes. Oh, what for? I'm just walking around vlogging. Oh, right. Okay, can you take me off? Yeah, if you don't want to be on. That's the China Rose restaurant. I do have vague memories of going there many years ago to some sort of Christmas do or something. I've heard it's supposed to be all right. Now, I know that restaurant 
I've been there Indian quite nice that was a long time ago though So there you have Bawtry High Street, it's rather nice and now I'm going to head towards the city centre because yes Doncaster is a city, I think it was uh, given city status 2022, was that last year it is isn't it, <laughs> I might be completely wrong with that and it's quite a big city as well, population of over 300,000 I believe, I did look this up the other night and I'm trying to remember them all I thought, oh, watch this, Lakeside Village, that sounds nice. Yeah. I'm not going to be stopping here, I can tell you that. <laughs> onwards, onwards into the city centre. This is where it's all going to start happening. I can feel it. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be just joviality. Is that a word? Jovility? No, that's not a word. What am I thinking of? There's going to be good stuff. There's going to be pubs, there's going to be fish and chips, it's going to be buskers and stuff. Can't wait. I'm doing my head in this weather. If you think I'm going out in this, you have another thing coming. It's ruined my vlog. What am I supposed to do? This is this is my job now. Bloody hell. I've got it all planned. Go to Doncaster today, shoot a vlog, get it edited, then get it out by whenever. And now it's all in jeopardy because of weather. Well, it's not good enough. And I don't know what to do. I'm just sat here in my van in Doncaster. We'll just have a talk. What shall we talk about? What do you want to talk about? It's riveting, isn't it, this? I have got some plans. Apparently, there's... There's a... Listen. I don't know if you heard that. There were a madman walking past bus. Yeah, past bus, past van singing. So I saw an article online the other day about officially the four best fish and chip shops in Yorkshire and one of them is just up road so I'm going to go there. I thought I'll go there now it's raining and I can do a fish and chip review but it don't open while four o'clock. It's just one thing after another. It's pandemonium. So I don't know. I think I might have a brilliant back. And we can walk round the dreary, drab streets of Doncaster in the rain. Maybe find a pub. Just sit there. Do you want to come with me? I'm off to reversing because I might not get out. I've got until chip shop opens. £3.80. So, here we are, we're in Donny. We're going to have a wander around. God, this is depressing. And I'm not blaming Donny. You know, nowhere's going to look good in this crappy weather, but there's a pub there, look. The Queen. Anybody know that pub? Shall we go in there? 
looks a bit ominous, doesn't it? It's all kicking off in there. Someone's having a look from there. Well, it's still bloody raining. I liked it in there. Bit of a Mexican vibe going on. And anything that reminds me of uh, Selma Hayek is all right by me. I don't know if you've seen that scene. It's one of my favorite movie scenes, that. It were kicking off a bit though in there. Somebody having a bit of a altercation. Anyway, we're gonna wander around, we're not bothered. We'll go around it rain. We'll make most of it. favourite shop there. I meant sense. <laughs> oh no, Why the bloody hell have I come in here? I must be insane. I'm losing will to live in here. Food court, buses and trains this way, so we'll go and have a look at buses and trains. Can't think of what else to do. I'm completely lost. Trains this way. Buses. Let's go and look around bus station. Riveting this, isn't it? Bus station. You don't get this kind of content anywhere else, do you? Yeah? This is what you really want to see. Bus buses. Well, we could go to the railway station, but I'm not sure you could contain your excitement. Right, I've come out of there now. God knows where I am. There's a big mural though. I've had to come out of here because I was going insane. I'd rather be in rain than in a shopping centre. All oh, right, so this is the famous Doncaster train station. There is, oh I read, I read somewhere that Doncaster is where they made the Flying Scotsman. So that's an interesting fact for you, isn't it? Look at this, this is nice. It's all coming back to me now. Uh, Paddington Bears from Doncaster. And something else was from Doncaster, but I can't remember. It'll come back to me in a bit. Oh, look at the cross in there. Countdown. That's what they have in Europe. First time I've seen that in this country. Look at this, this looks like a massive boys up here. So I'm gonna do a bit of a service for my mum because she loves boys. My mum's boys biggest fan. He's got a right cult following as boys. I wanna take you in. I'll tell you what, we're not messing now. We're showing you some proper stuff on this channel. Boys, nobody else has done that, have they?
realise I'm in underwear now. It's all that haberdashery. I feel a bit cheated by Boys Doncaster because it's only on one level. When you look at it, it's really big, it's massive, and you think it's going to be like multiple floors like it is in uh, Bridling, uh, Scarborough. But no, it's just the one floor. I'm let down to be honest with you. Anyway, onwards. Donny in the rain. Oh, you ruined my footage. Bloody hell. What's up here? Jazz Cafe. That's interesting. Rainbow burgers. I'm at a crossroads. And I feel like I'm at a crossroads in my vlogging life. Desperately trying to salvage a vlog out of this. What do I do? Oh, I'm doing. What am I supposed to do? I don't even know where I am. Completely lost. Going in there. I don't. God, this is depressing. I mean, I don't blame you if you turn this off. Bloody hell. What's in there? Absolutely sad. All. Well, it says warm and friendly welcome great times I don't even know if it's open great times and a warm and friendly welcome that's what I want, I'm going in there for half it's not open they won't, they're renovating it another barber's there everywhere everywhere you look half an hour early that's how bad it is today that's how miserable it is so I'm just gonna sit here and shut my eyes for 30 minutes and then look forward to these fish and chips I can hardly contain my excitement this is Oakley Friary I'll just get my peas out I've got my peas in a tub I've ordered oh, they're nice tubs I've only ordered a small and I think I might have made a mistake. It come to £11 something with a drink. I'll show you these. And I've ordered haddock. It's Icelandic haddock. So there you have the haddock and chips. And I've got the peas in a carton. But after doing all that, I think I might pour them on the chips. So... Yeah, I'm going to put them on chips here. Save messing. I'm so hungry. I normally always order a small because they tend to be the same size anyway, but this is quite small, to be honest. Right. Here we go. Hang on. Let's start with a chip. One chip. Lovely. They even named the potatoes. They, they were a thing. I couldn't really film in there because there were quite a lot of people and it's just been a bit weird. But they said what cod it was. That was Icelandic cod. And it said some more information about it. All certified. They had it. And the same with the potatoes. What sort of potatoes they were. And it's won like, loads of awards. They've got them all on the wall. But hot. But yeah, them chips are awesome. I'm going to try some at peas. Oh yes. They're 
nice. Chip and peas. Mm. Mm. Let me show you them peas. Can you see them? Well, yeah, the chips and the peas are amazing. I'm looking forward to trying this haddock. I hope it lives up to the uh, chips and the peas. Because it could be a winner, guys. I'll just clean my palate with dandelion and burdock, which is the law. Well, when you're having fish and chips, you either have to have dandelion and burdock or shandy. Right, let's look at this. Look at that. That's quite nice and thick. Although it's a small fish, that's quite thick for a haddock. Oh, I'm so excited. Are you ready? Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Yes! 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 Mmm. Bloody brilliant. Absolutely gorgeous. So I read about these on a on a website, something like Yorkshire Live or something like that. And apparently the Fish Fryers Association or something voted these for the past four years, I think in the top four fish and chip shops in, in Yorkshire. And that's why I've come. And absolutely, look at that haddock, that is amazing. So meaty, haddock sometimes is really flat. And it's got that unique haddock fishy taste, you know. Had it sounds daft, but haddock tastes a lot more fishy than cod. Mm. They're, they're perfect. I'm sorry. You, they couldn't be any better. They could not be any better. Absolutely gorgeous. So what we're scoring them. <laughs> I've had some good fish and chips, but they go straight in at the top of the leaderboard with a 9.5. That'd be beautiful. I can quite categorically say now I don't need to do any more fish and chip reviews because they ain't going to get beaten. They might get equal, but you you can't get better fish and chips than them. I've just had; they were fantastic. Really enjoyed them. They're obviously very popular because there was quite a queue. I got there when it opened at four o'clock, and there was quite a queue. Of, well, I don't want to say quite a queue, but there were a few people waiting outside. Uh, have you tried them? You know, let me know if you've tried Oakley Friary or if you, you know, give them a go and let me know what you think. They were really, really nice. And it's funny because before I've had them, I just said my favourite fish and chip shop is a place in Conisbury called Seafish, which is equally lovely. And uh, it just seems that you get really good fish and chips in Doncaster. Probably just a coincidence. I don't know. But well worth the drive out. Anyways... I don't know what I want to do now. I'm sorry if this uh, vlog's been a bit rubbish. I'll do better next time, I promise you. I'll put more effort in. Helen's on the... Man, I put effort into this. I've got it all planned out. What am I on about? Can't help rain, can I? It's not my fault. Stop mourning. <laughs> I've got Helen on next two videos, probably, so that's going to be a lot better. I'm always better when I'm with Helen. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do now, to be honest. 
I've got a bit of a day. I've had this cold all week and I'm just not feeling myself. I know. <laughs> Get a little tiny violin out. I'm going to just head back and park up. I feel like having an early night tonight. Ugh. I don't know. So, if you found anything of any use in this video, <laughs> then great. If not, please forgive me and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.